Have you ever procrastinated doing something you didn't enjoy and that it just became unbearable? You, my friend, have built your procrastination wall. Hi friends, and welcome back to Lila at Home. Today we're talking about procrastination. Oh, are we? Hold on a minute, let me just check on something. We're back. Early in the school holidays, one of my daughter's friends wanted to extend his stay with us. I was okay with that. All he needed to do was just call his mom to check with her. He was dreading that call, fearing that his mom would actually say no. So he put it off saying that I'll do it after lunch. After lunch, he'd say, I'll do it after this game. After the game finished, I'll do it after we finish playing this ticket to ride game. Before long, it was dinner time and he still hadn't made that call. His mom tried to call him, but he was too afraid to answer the call. So she did the next best thing. She called me. I find the longer I leave things to do, the harder it is to then do it. If I take the laundry down and don't fold it immediately, I find that there'll just be another pile, and then on top of that another one, and then another load. I imagine procrastination as building a wall. Every time I delay doing something, I put a brick on the wall and I find another excuse not to do it. I put another brick and another brick and before long, it needs serious effort. It's useful to think about strategies before the wall gets too high. In a building a second brain session, Tiago Forte talked about putting structures in place for things that are boring to do. Okay, super boring, I hate it, hate everything about it, <laughs> which is why I need lots of structure. When the moment comes, finally, after a lot of procrastination, that I'm going to actually do this. I've always considered Tiago as a person who just gets things done. He's like a productivity god. I've completed a lot of projects in my life. I wrote a book, I've launched a course, I've traveled the world, started a family. So I've learned a lot about how to finish what I start. I never imagined him to be somebody who would procrastinate, but he does. And that's why he has a structure or a system in place. A system doesn't have to be too complicated. In the laundry example earlier, I pile the clean laundry on the bed. Unless I plan to just sleep under the covers under the pile of laundry, I have to fold the laundry before going into bed at night. If I pile it on the sofa or another place that's out of the way, then it just won't get done. Out of sight, out of mind. Some people like time blocking and put things on the calendar so that they get things done. If it's a meeting on my calendar, I will definitely get to it because other people are involved and I don't want to let them down. But time blocking hasn't worked for me when it's tasks that I put on the calendar. When the notification comes up on my phone, I'll just swipe it and clear it. When I have something to do that isn't particularly exciting, sometimes I like a change of scenery. So instead of working here in my study, I might take my laptop to a cafe or to the library, find a spot there, set myself up, put my headset on, and I'm good to go. Having other people around me helps with my motivation. If I don't want to go out, then sometimes I join working together sessions on Zoom. There's something about having other people working alongside with you in a real environment or, a, or in a virtual environment that gives me more motivation to get my own work done. I keep a minimal to-do list where I list three things that I want to get done that day. This is from the book Make Time by Jake Knapp and John Zaretsky. I use an app called Bento. With this app, you pack your Bento box for the day. So you choose three things and not only that, you also assign the bento box compartments to it. Something that requires a lot of time, a lot of effort, you might assign a large bento compartment and then it goes down to a medium bento compartment, which is something that might not take that long and not that difficult. 
And finally, a bite-sized bento box compartment. This is for tasks that won't take too long to do and won't take a lot of effort either. The app also allows you to choose three different approaches to these three tasks. You can eat the frog, where you start from the top, the hardest one, the medium to the small. There's climb the summit, which starts from a medium one, then to the large one, then to a small one. Or there's a slow burn, where you start with the small compartment and move your way up to the large compartment. The Japanese aesthetic is pleasing for me, and I also enjoy the food theme of the app. Just in case you hadn't noticed, I'm all about food, as you can see from the channel. Having a system will help prevent you from building that procrastination wall, or deal with the wall before it gets too high. But here's the catch. You need to find a system that works for you. What works for me, or your friends, or your family, would most likely not work for you. Give different things a try. You might not have any problem folding the clean laundry, but for me, I just find it so tedious. That's why I have to have a system. James Clear in his book, Atomic Habits, says, you do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. If you have a system that works for you, then your procrastination wall might not even exist, or it may not get too high, and you don't need to recruit Sirius Black to deal with it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe. You can also check out my other video where I illustrate how to set your goals using Minecraft as an example. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.